Greetings, one and all, and welcome back to Minecraft Dinosaurs, Magic and Machines. This is episode 007, and yes, I'm feeling very good, because in this episode, as you can probably tell from the title, we're going to be getting into the machines, the machines part of Dinosaurs, Magic and Machines. And uh, as you can see here, around, around home, things are nicely organized. I had some time this morning to just play good old Minecraft, and that's looking much better there in the corner, this, this house. And uh, I've got myself some chickens now, and my wheat farm. I've done a full harvest, as you can see here, got lots of bread now. So I don't have to kill the cows anymore. <laughs> the poor countryside roaming cows. Anyway, I've done a few other things as well, but I'm going to leave that all for next episode, because the episodes are only 15 minutes long, and today... I've got to travel a little bit because I've actually got a neighbor now and he's going to be helping us with the the machines. I haven't actually done much of the machines myself except in you know in other times. And so yes, we are going to go and rely on his expertise. I do believe he's done quite a bit already. So let's go see. Just around the corner here. We follow the river to the west and go past these acacia trees we should come across yes indeed here we go it seems habitat habitated <laughs> inhabited hmm, let's have a look here oh oh there's a creeper okay <laughs> yeah you can see a creeper exploded there before and now they all just end up there hello piggy and here we are, at the Rocky Hollow, home of Mr. B. Fantastic. Let me go knock on the door. Excuse me, Piggy. Knock, knock. Hello. Knock, knock. Hello. <laughs> what was that, hello? <laughs> hello. That's my homely, homely hello. So, hello, please come in. Do make yourself at home. That's all. Oh, hey. I see. Indeed. <laughs> welcome, so everybody. welcome to Rocky Hollow. Yes, this is Mr. B. Fantastic. Uh, you might want to speak up a little bit, uh, Mr. B, because I, I'm not sure about the recording volume here. But yes, Mr. B is going to help us with, with the mechanism stuff, because he's already yeah. gotten started. Uh, I have indeed. Yeah. So show us, okay. where do you begin? So, mechanism... Fantastic mod. There's so much you can do, but it is a little bit overwhelming in the beginning to try and figure out what you need to do first. So the most important part of the mechanism mod is to get hold of a good power source. Everything has to be powered, otherwise it just doesn't work. So where I started, sorry, like Bradley, dungeon. Come down this way. Yes. I'm just thinking. Um, before we continue the episode, let me check your volume because. I I'm recording with Audacity and it doesn't seem like your voice is getting through. So, okay. will you just, yeah, let, let's just pause the video quickly. Right, so, yeah, it seems your voice should be fine now. Maybe you're a bit louder now, so that's, that's cool. Excellent. So what were you saying? Cool, thanks. I was saying that I started here in the dungeon uh, with your very basic um, generator and this is called a heat generator and how it works is you surround it by heat and then it will produce electricity for you so okay hold what on I've a second got here, I'm looking yes. at it here uh, got heat okay so it just generates energy how do you make this thing uh, well you need three iron ingots a uh, osmium ingots two copper ingots two planks of wood and a furnace and uh, arrange in a special way <laughs> And there you have it. Let it's it's not here. that expensive. It's it's one of you know it's a cheaper one to make. You don't need any specialized equipment for it. Okay, I'm bringing it up here in in the. Oh, there we go. Okay, there. Really is pretty easy. Pretty easy. Osmium is very very cool. <laughs> so common and so versatile, and you use it for armor. And um, yeah, I made myself so. Armor it's not difficult to make. Osmium is quite a quite an important one later on as well. So 
even before you start, you know, gain, you know, mine as much as you can because you're always going to use it. Right, so what I've done, you can see here that there is space all around the generator, right? So you yes. want to get it um, get on all sides. So I've got a bucket of lava that I'm going to put at the top there, quickly close it up here, and then you'll see it'll flow on all sides. So we go like so, close up, and off it goes. Okay. Right. Okay, nice. So now so we are surrounded by heat. So now, if you right-click on it, you should see that it is producing electricity on the side. At the moment, 160 kilojoules. Yes, indeed. Yeah, so it's not a lot, but it's, it's enough to get you started. Once you've got that, then you can uh, start making other things. Now, I had a little setup here, but I've actually moved moved since. So I'd like to go show you my, my workshop, if that's okay. That's right. That's oh. Yep, yep. Yep. What have you done? What's the next sort of machine that you... Hey, what is this? Thing? The next one that I made, okay, the next one you should is. make, is the Osmium Infuser, which allows you to infuse um, various ores like Osmium and Iron. Uh, sorry, it's not the Osmium Infuser, it's a Metallurgic Infuser. And oh, that's uh, right, it infuses... Though. Yes. So, I've actually made two of them here. One so that I can have it stacked with coal because how it works is you put in your source materials, the one being either like um, coal or redstone, depending on what you want to infuse the metal with. You put that in the purple slot and then you put your ores in the red slot and then you get your product. So this is used to make, for example, um, what do you call those thingies? I'll tell you in a sec. Uh, alloys. So you get your your hey, basic alloys. You got some alloy here. Enriched yes. alloy. There we go. Enriched alloy. Yes. Okay, let me just. And bring that's it, used uh, to make various things. The recipe for this thing. The yes. Metallurgic infuser. There it is. Oh, just some iron, osmium, redstone, and some furnaces. Also quite basic. Yes. Yes, indeed. But now, what things really get interesting. So this machine over here. So hold on, sorry. So you said with these two with, with this machine here, you obviously you need to run it with energy, and that's what you got at the back here, right? These yes. energy pipes. Okay, so <laughs> but, one very big resource in, in mechanism is your steel ingots, and that's why you need this thing, right? Because you steel. put um, carbon on the one side, so you put coal into the source material, and then you start infusing it with iron. And that'll give you a, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it's like a thingy that you then infuse with carbon again to make a steel ingot. Uh, let me actually make one for you and then you can Yeah, yeah. Use... I'm going to take it, take some iron, right? And I'm going to put it in here. And you'll see and hear that the machine will run. Ooh, there we go. Sounds pretty cool. It is cool, right? and it'll pop out, yeah, enriched iron. There you go. Okay. Now you put the enriched iron back into the machine. So that was just iron that you used. used. That was just a normal iron ingot. And there you have steel dust. Okay. Uh, the steel dust can then be smelted down into an ingot. Okay. Which and I will do up here. And then Boop. what do you need this alloy for? Enriched alloy. Okay, enriched alloy is used for many different things. I'm not going to go into everything right now, but it's okay. just used. If you go into the uses, and go how, into how do you NEI. make it? Oh, it's infusing um, iron with redstone instead of coal, and you get your enriched alloy. So you put you put iron in the reds and and and, and then it moves across. Yep. No, but redstone. So it's a really the redstone handy goes thing. where? In the purple slot where your coal. Would okay, go. and then it makes that. So did you put coal in here just now with with that iron? No, there was coal already in there. Okay, I didn't see it. So it wasn't just an iron. It was iron plus coal that gives you the enriched stuff. Yep. Okay, got gotcha. you. And now. Pull up the recipe for this machine here called the enrichment chamber because this 
I think it's super cool. The enrichment chamber, you say? Yes, indeed. I think I got it. Yeah, there we go. So, okay, what so we this need? We is need used a steel for... casing and redstone, basic control circuit, and some iron. All yes. right. Right. So I want to show you this. If I open this, it's used for various things. But the first thing, which is really cool, if you drop ore into here, so I'm going to put some copper ore in here. Copper ore. It will enrich it. And it'll actually in extract dust. So for every one ore that you put in there, it extracts two dust, which is then the equivalent of obviously two ingots when you smelt it. You're actually getting double yield from all your ores. Okay, very it nice. It makes yeah. production like super easy. The other thing that it does yes. is that you, for your infusers, you need either redstone or 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 um coal or later on diamond, um, you can actually compress it to get more out of it. So if I put a redstone in the enrichment chamber, you watching, mm -hmm. boink, off it goes and it'll start making compressed redstone. Compressed redstone is then a much better fuel source for the infusers. Oh, I see. And I'm going to hoi that in there and... Done. Wait. Where did it go? Oh, it, it goes on it the left hand side. It pulls up the bar there. You okay, see I see. I understand. That's why I didn't see any carbon here. It automatically fills it up on the side here. Okay. Yeah. Comprehension. So once you got once you got this set up, then you can start making all your basic alloys and um, everything that you need to make the higher tier stuff, which I haven't gotten into yet. But I do want to show you where I'm getting my power from. Can I do that? Sure. Uh, just make a quick note about this thing. What's the compressor? Osmium compressor. Ooh, the osmium compressor. Okay. So what I've recently acquired this to create a special little surprise for later. Mm, but okay. so it should basically... We... Should I... No, no. I can tell you what it does. It uh, compresses osmium dust. Like obsidian dust into enriched in obsidian dust, which is then. Oh no no no! Sorry, you put in enriched in obsidian dust in here to make enriched in obsidian ingots, which are here in my chest, refined, not. Okay, yeah. and to get the obsidian dust, you need to put it into the. Oh, it's a it's a process. Um, it is it is quite a process. I'm gonna let you. Figure that out later on. I'll tell you, and then you can show your your viewership yeah. in another episode. Okay? okay, great idea. All right. So, so you see now, this power conduit? I do. Okay. Now the power the power uh, cables. Firstly, very easy to make two steel ingots and a and a redstone gives you eight of these basic ones. Now okay. you get much bigger ones. Like if you encase a um, alloy in the basic. Uh, cables it gives you a much higher or a thicker cable which can give um, handle more power. So I want to show you what I've made. Can you follow me to the top? Oh, you, of course. Do you want to teleport there? No, no. Just go up. Yep, yep. Classic old ladder style. Oh, oh, I'm I'm moving on the ladder here. Now don't fall. I don't want to. I don't want you to die in my episode. That'd be weird. <laughs> be bad. You'll never. You'll never have me back. <laughs> yes, indeed. It's good to have you as a neighbor. And uh, I'm really happy that there is uh, more interest in the server now. Good God, that that, that lightning is loud. Yeah, we've got lots. It of is people. pretty cool. And my wind turbine Ooh. is going absolutely bananas at the moment. Okay, yeah. so there you have a wind turbine. That's the second turbine that I made, the generator that I made. I think it's the coolest one. Um, it is dependent on altitude, so the higher you go, the more power you get out of it. But the advantage of it is it goes, it generates all the time. Rain, sunshine, whatever. You also okay. get solar panels, which uh, only work during the day. And then there's a gas-powered um, 
generator as well, which I haven't gotten into yet. But if you right click on it, you'll see you see there's an energy tablet in the one slot of the wind turbine. Yes. That's like a little battery. Now I've put that in there to store energy because I'm going to be using it just now. Um, so you can basically put this into any of your devices if you're not getting enough power from your generator and you really want to get you know stuff done. You just put this in the power slot and it will and it'll use that as a power source as well. Okay. And then you can come and bring it up here to charge. But I'm going to take that with me because I have been working on getting a robot, not a robot, a, ro a robot. Robot, you said, yes. not, not a robot. Yes, yeah, a robot. A robot is a little robot that will follow you around. It is a portable, basically, it will follow you around as a portable workbench slash furnace slash chest, and it will go picking things up after you while you're mining. So it seems to be a lovely uh, addition to the game. You just about suicide. I just saw you drop off the edge there. <laughs> I, I almost, I almost <laughs> went a little too far. But I can't find your letter now. Where, where's the letter? Okay, the letter is there somewhere. I'm just going to walk down to the bottom. Yeah, but there's no, <laughs> there's no letter. <laughs> I, I, I there is a letter. <laughs> That's off to the side, I think. What? No, no some, something, something's amiss. I'll just, I'll just try and jump into the pool of water down there. No. Um, <laughs> you know what? I think I'll just TP to you. Yeah, that's a good idea. There we go. I don't know if the ladder was not rendering or if I was just not seeing it. I don't know. Okay, so where's this robot of yours? It's a nice way to. I'll end my inventory. But I'm going to use my my generator down here to give him some power. So I'm going to attach some cables, basic universal cables. Okay. Plop, plop, plop. Okay, there we have power. And I'm going to put a little charge pad on. The charge pad is multi-purpose, but for now it's going to be used for my robot. Now I have no idea what's about to happen. I haven't done this before. Here he is in my hand, and I am going to go plop. Oh, robot! Hey yo! So I'm going to <laughs> right-click him. Let's see what he is. Let's see what he does. <gasps> There's a power slot. So I'm going to put his energy tablet in there for backup energy, because he also has like a built-in battery as well, so he can come back to his charge station and charge himself up. That's Let's awesome. Have a look. It's very what cute. Oh my gosh. Toggle drop pickup mode. Rename this robot. Oh, absolutely. What are we going to call it? Um. Um. I, that, I got no idea. Yeah. Uh, hang on. I had an idea for this. I had an idea. I'm wait, just. Wait, you know what? Wait. I will call him Donatello, actually, after my favorite Ninja Turtle. Okay. Donatello. Donatello. Awesome. Cool. <laughs> Donatello the Donatello robot. it is. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so, yeah, so so let's end off the episode, really, just because it's it's getting a bit long for, for Alright, I just want to, I want you to see him follow me around. Oh, okay. Follow mode. So yeah, there he oh. comes. Ha! There he goes. <laughs> 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 He's so cool. Very, very nice. I want one. Very nice indeed. I really want one. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get into mechanism soon enough. All okay, right. Then. Well, let's end the episode then. Yes. Yeah, so look at look at that that block there just above your chest. The other one. Yep. <laughs> yeah. There we go. All right, guys. <laughs> thank you for watching. Uh, thank you, Mr. B. Fantastic, for for doing the B. little intro there for mechanism. And the next episode. Uh, we are going to go on a little adventure looking for a pet bat, I think, because we both want one. Because the mobs are, the mobs are kind of annoying us, and it'll be nice to have an, a pet bat to take care of them when when we don't feel like fighting them. So yes, Bye. I'm sure adventure awaits. Bye bye, guys.
Thanks for Bye. watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Or oh, we will see you next time. <laughs> Bye. There we go. Thank you.